the beat. You know what I want, Blazer. Come on, Blazer. It's the beat for me. Wow, 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 wow,
just let the internet internet. It's gonna be what it's gonna be, Meek. And you know, he lied. He's a he he, he now I'm thinking he's a pathological liar because Meek did lie and say he don't go nowhere without his niggas. And we saw that on my channel last night that that was proven to be not true. Did we not see Meek Mills down at the um at the bunny hop? We seen him at the parties, no niggas in sight, you know. And I don't like that for Meek Mills because I didn't know he was a pathological liar. I know Mickey said he was a lame ass nigga. And then I look back and with my third eye and I see sure it is. I knew that part, you know. But just seeing um just seeing the part with him over there not denying these allegations, it just takes me to a new place, you know. And I don't like the place that it takes me. But Meek Mills got to go lay down. He got the matter of fact, no, don't lay down because laying down is probably what got him in a situation he's in. You know what I mean? Twitter and TikTok tan meek up with the skit. Oh, as they should. As they should. As they should. Because he meek, this is when I knew Meek was full of goddamn shit naive. Tory Lanez is in, innocent because there's a tape apparently that Nikki was talking about. What? I ain't hear about that. I ain't heard that. Send me the receipts, girl. I ain't got no tail, girl. <laughs> That's living head rent free in my head. Do you hear me? I ain't got no tail, girl. <laughs> but send them over. I'm sure we'd like to hear him or see him or whatever. But look, y'all, look, look, look. Because see, we got to start talking about these things. We got to have the tough conversations in the community, you know? Uh, Meek Mills has been suspect. As a booty bandit and a loose wristed fella for a long time. It's just y'all wasn't paying attention. And see, y'all wasn't paying attention because he didn't do nothing for you to pay attention. You know, the last time we paid attention to this nigga is when um when he was popping wheelies and he went to jail and started crying. Y'all remember that in Philly? If you're from Philly and you're on here and you remember him popping wheelies and crying when he went to jail, put a one in the chat. Even if you're not from um from Philly and you remember him crying down at the jailhouse. Asking or 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 what's the boy name Jay Z to come get him out and all of that. Y'all remember that? Guilty by association. Who? Meek Mills. Yes. Anything Meek Mills is guilty. Anything Meek Mills is guilty. I don't even need to see the evidence. Meek Mills with a S. No, with a Z. Put a Z on Mills. Meek Mills is guilty. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, he is. Whoa. Yes, he is guilty. We don't need no trial. Guilty. Life. Yes, there is dragging him down. Do you hear me? Oh, he popped the wheelies in New York. Oh, I ain't know where he was when he was on his bike popping wheelies. You know, when I see niggas pop wheelies, I think of churn. You know, y'all ever see them churn when they get their bike for Christmas? That's what it was given to me. That's what it's given to me. Y'all, y'all ever seen them churn when they pop the wheelies and y'all when them churn get their bikes for Christmas? They go under the Christmas tree and they see their bikes and they go, Oh, thank you, mama, thank you. And they don't want they they ready to go put their clothes on so they can go outside and ride their bike. That's what Meek Mills was giving me when he was out there popping wheelies. I thought he was in Philly. Cause you know, we they don't do that everywhere, you know, ride bikes and all of that. But somehow the Philly people love canned cheese and popping wheelies. That's crazy to me. Oh, the cartoon guilty by yeah, I seen that on the um boondocks. Y'all seen when um Huey was like, is it Huey or is it Riley? Which one is the crazy one? Good morning, Angela. Which one is the crazy one, y'all? Which one is the crazy one who um who keep, who kept saying he's not gay? And then they come out and find out he gay. And he was just like, so he is gay, huh? He was like, does that make me gay? And he was just like, yup. And he was like, damn, man. Riley, crazy ass. That little that little cartoon is crazy ass. That little cartoon crazy. Hold on, y'all. It's working out real good. I done turned this man nail shop into a uh, I mean nail shop. This his car shop. I got a little section on this side. I told him I turned it into a nail shop. I had to fix my nails, girl. Indeed. He done set me up with a little power pack and everything. Yeah. I'm over here fixing my nails while I'm waiting. But yeah, Gangsta Delicious. Yay. Gangsta Delicious. Y'all remember Gangsta Delicious? And he, he, Riley asked Huey, he said, So he is gay. And Riley was like, Yup. He was like, Yup. He was like, So that mean I'm gay? Because I like him. 
and he was like, yep. And he was like, damn, man. Good morning, Champagne Secrets. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Y'all come on up in here. Get in here. We got some things to discuss now. Meek Mills is crashing out. Somebody go check on Meek Mills. If you're in or around wherever he stay, please go do a wellness check. Hey, cousin, on Meek Mills. I need somebody to do a wellness check. If you're around wherever he lives, go do a wellness check on Meek Mills. See, Diddy is the gift that keeps on giving. Let's talk about it. See, Diddy, whatever they say he did, he did that shit. You know, let's start that first. And Diddy and everybody associated with him, with the exception of Jay-Z for now, you know what I'm saying? They are going to be brought down with him, you know? They definitely going to be brought down with him. And TD, I'm waiting on him. He the, he the one. I want him more than anybody. You know why? Y'all know I don't like preachers, right? I think preachers are the most crooked people in the black community. Because they knowingly sign up to, to, to fool people and take their money. They like take money from the poor. I don't like I don't like preachers. So until my application for profit is voo is accepted down at the pottery house, it's up. Do you hear me? Until my my application as profit is voo is accepted down at the pottery house, TD, it's up. And see, when I get in the pottery house as a prophetess, I'm, they waiting on my application. They, I called them the other day. They say they're still working on it. Look, once I get in as a prophetess, that's going to be my way to um to infiltrate. I'm going to infiltrate. Um, Yes, girl. Yes. Yes. Universal T with Marie. It's a billion dollar industry and I want some money. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? So once I get in, see, this, this is the plan. Once I get in there, hey, B. Billy, once I get in there, I'm going to act like I'm just prophesying, you know, you know, you know, touch a few heads, tell them, you know, do, 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 wham, wham. But after I get the prophesying, I plan to go in there, infiltrate, integrate and infiltrate. You know what I'm saying? And then when I get in there and get all the tea and all the secrets, I'm going to come tell y'all and we're going to put it all out there and then we're going to take TD down. That's the plan. That is the plan to get TD up out of there because it's taking too long, you know? We, it's taking too long to get TD up out of there. And I don't like that when he when you go online on Sunday, that nigga church online be having a trillion people in there. You want a job, Belinda? I got you. I got you. Whoever want to come with me down to the pottery house as an agent, let me know. Yes, Leslie. The TD takedown. Yes. That's what we're going to call it. That's We're going to call it, because see, the FBI, when they be doing that, they be, have, they be having to name these stuff. So we're going to call it Operation TD. Operation TD is the name of the um the thing. It's going to be Operation TD. Only us know, because we the ones coming up with it. They thinking TD Jakes. No, 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 no. Take down. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do that. So once, like I say, I'm waiting on them to call me back. Uh, I'm waiting on them to call me back by my application. For a prophetess, and whoever want to come with me, we're going we gonna to have a meeting, you know, and we're going to get together and come up with the plans for Operation TD, Takedown, you know. My husband used to work for PT for Evangelist Pat Robinson, who that is, and he said there would be literally truckloads of money being delivered every day. Wow, oh yeah, and I'm stealing from the church. Now, I know, listen, I know y'all going to think that it's morally unacceptable. And I understand because that's what they said when we was growing up. You know what I'm saying? Yep, we got a parking lot security. So we got an usher, security. Y'all put your titles in what y'all want to be. Now, now remember, this is a top secret mission. You can't go telling everybody. we. You know what I'm saying? Don't go falling in love at the church and then spilling all the tea, trying to sit there. And um, now you want to do pillow talking and all that ugly ass shit. Don't go. Don't, if you're on that type of time, I don't want you. Matter of fact, I might have to bet y'all because I, I need to make sure this, this goes without, you know, you know, I don't need no distractions. I don't need nobody snitching, you know. But, okay, let's they're going to be a deacon. Gotcha. Security. See, we're going to need a lot of security. So it's never too many securities, you know, because this is going to be, you want to be a deaconess? Go and do that. Oh, yeah. We might make you head mother of the deacons. But look, listen, I'm trying to tell y'all something. Don't get swallowed. That's going to be the first rule of Operation TD. Do not. Do you hear me? Do not get swallowed. If we are 
assume or if we think you're getting swallowed, you got to get out of here. You got to get up out of here. We can't take that type of um, treason in, in Operation TD. So I already know the signs of when you've been swallowed and I know them real well. I can kind of like eye the signs. So I'm just telling y'all right now, you're coming on Operation TD, you get swallowed. I'm telling you now, just go ahead on fat. Just get up out of there before I see it. Just go ahead on and put your resignation. Just resign, you know? Just go ahead and resign because if I find out you got swallowed and you trying to act like you didn't, because you know they stay down there at the pottery house, they do a lot of swallowing, like a lot, you know? So, you know, and that's one of the things we're going to expose once I get in there. But look, if I find out you got swallowed, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, you got to go up out of here. And we we making you sign the NDA because I don't want you going back on your YouTube page saying voodoo over there about trying to expose um uh, uh, TD. Oh no, because see you gonna you gonna you gonna mess up the operation. Asha said she won't be a musician. Plus they have uh all all the dirt. Trust me, I know. See that's what I'm saying. We need some musicians too. Oh yep, Medusa church cook. We definitely gonna need that because listen, listen, listen. See we we have to have the essentials. Yes, uh, Miss Parker's gonna be my armor bear. Is that how you say it? Yes. Um, see, this is we have to have very important positions down here at the pottery house. We can't just go in milly willy nilly. The most important things we need, okay, media market, we need security. Because if if somebody gets to acting crazy, we need somebody ready to go, you know, do what they got to do. We are gonna need to eat, so we need a cook. We we got one volunteer, we're gonna need a few more cooks now. Because we need to eat. We don't trust the people down at the Pottery House. We're not eating any food. We're not eating any food. We need to make our own food, okay? We need music. You know, niggas don't live without music, okay? We have to have music. We have to. Y'all remember how they say the slaves used to tell the pad to, uh, what you call them, through the songs? We got to make up songs and all of that. We got to make up our songs so we could be communicating, you know, and they don't know. So we need music, food security and um yes gg please deal with brandon lord is he still there girl he he the first one going up out of there see if i get there and brandon there he the first one gotta go i'm telling y'all now mm -hmm. i coco gonna leave bible study on wednesday okay but listen i coco in your bible study we have to have hidden messages so we can know what's going on you know we got a legal assistant yep aka peril yep there you go Mm-hmm. Now, Bria want to pass around the offering plate. Bria, we're going to need to do a background check. We don't need you stealing out the plate. I'm not saying you're a thief. I don't know that to be true, but we got to do a background check on certain, like security, uh, you know, stuff like that. We have to do a background check, Bria, because I don't want, you know, the plate go around and it's a thousand dollars. Then by the time it get back to me, it's 500. You know what I mean? There's no shade. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, cross my teeth and dot my eyes. That's all, you know. Mm -hmm. Definitely got to send coded messages. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. The children's church, the kids take it. Yes, yes, see, train up a child. This is what they say the Bible say. I didn't say it. Listen to me good. They say the Bible say train up a child in which the way it should go or something like that, you know. So, so, we need to start the churn early. We need them to go in early knowing, hey, this is an operation. You need to get them to know the codes. Get, you know what I'm saying? We got to start here. We got to start the, with the churn. So we definitely going to need the children's church because see, it's going to be private Bible studies for our children, you know? So yeah, we're going we gonna to get it together. I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a time I cannot wait. I'm trying to get in soon as they call me and say my application has been approved. And I can go on to the next level of the uh, hiring process. I will keep you guys posted because, see, um, that's going to be big for me. You know, that is going to be huge for me. I feel like it's the calling. I feel like the most high God put that on my heart to do that. You know, so I'm going to just do what he say. I'm going to be obedient, you know. Oh, you're a good steward. All right. All right. All right. I got your brief. I got your brief. I got your brief. Don't worry about it. I got your back. But yeah, girl, I'm just saying, see, I'm waiting on TV. Now, Jay-Z going to be next. I know y'all know that part, right? Jay-Z is definitely coming up next. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere, um, because he and all them pictures with, uh, what's that boy's name? 
He and all of them pictures with um with Diddy and them and Meek Mills. So he next. And you know, that's gonna be a time, but see the one I'm waiting on is T D. Remember, y'all, Operation T D takedown. It's not for T D Jake, it's Operation T D takedown. That's what we calling it. You know, um, and I think we're gonna be successful because we all have the same goals in in, in common, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Jay Z all up in the videos in the pic. All up in it. Oh, what? I should put the mission in a private live because they got 120 people that haven't liked the live. Girl, I know you lying. Now, this time I'm going to know who I'm going to weed out. I'm going to go ahead on and uh, restart and give y'all an intermission for y'all to like the video. Now, if I come back, this is how we going to know who who in here that's a, 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 a informing, you know. Um, once we find out how many people, how many informants we got up in here, we got to start getting our codes together so we could, you know, so we could um be careful, you know, with what we're saying in public. Because, you know, everybody, you know, it's always a Judas amongst the messiahs and all of that. So let me go ahead on and give y'all a little break. Commercial break. So go ahead on like the video. Then when I come back, we're going to be able to count all the people who in here, um, you know, spying and all of that. So let's go ahead on and get that. On Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. Now, it's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 and we're going to make up our covers so we can talk how we want to talk, you know, because, you know, there, there's always a Judas amongst the crowd, you know. Didn't Jesus tell Judas that he was going to betray him? And, and Judas said, no way, Jesus, not you. And Jesus said, nigga, please. Yes, she is. You know what I'm saying? And what happened? Judas denied Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I'm Jesus by no means, but I'm just using that as an example. Hey, Ada, Ada. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it showed a lot. Okay, sound about right. That's all right. You know, it, you know, it's just the beginning of the fray of the phase. We 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 got it. Don't worry about it. So look, bitch, Meek is losing it. Do you hear me? Somebody for real. I ain't bullshit. Somebody need to go check on Meek. Meek is losing it. Oh, you fell asleep on the Patreon last night, girl. It was going long, wasn't it? But we was having a good conversation. Shout out to everybody who pulled up to the Patreon last night. We had a wonderful conversation um, regarding uh, the things that we were discussing. So shout out to everybody who pulled up to the Patreon last night. Shout out. It was good, wasn't it, Fell Reality? Good morning, good morning. Hold on. You must be coming get your nails done. You must be coming get your nails done. You done pulled up in the parking lot of the nail shop right oh, here. I don't know that one is yeah, this the, you see, this is the nail shop right here. It sure do, because it's expensive. 
my bad, y'all. I didn't even know I um hit the mute button. He trying to be girl. Y'all know I like me a good older man. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know I love me a good older man who, you know, he done already did what he had to do back in the days. So he ain't really on that shit. You know what I'm saying? No more. He just want to, um, he just want to, uh, 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 relax and spend money on me. That's the type of man I like. Sure do. No, not that, not that, not that. I got some slip stuff in here. I just got to find it. Nope, not that. Nope, not that. So yeah, girl, look. Look, y'all. They gonna fall one by one. Y'all know that, right? Slip solution. What am I supposed to do with this? No, fuck it. Let me try it. Y'all know they about to fall one by one? Y'all know that, right? They about to, these people about to go one by one. Y'all got to know that part. Oh, yes, they are, baby. See, y'all like them older men too, ain't it? Me too, girl. I don't want no, um, I don't want no young man. They ain't got to, I ain't got time for that, but I ain't, I ain't raising no man. K. Michelle said, can't raise a man if he wasn't raised right before you. You wonder why he act like a boy or something like that. Didn't K. say that? Because you ain't never going to change nobody or something. God, I'm broken there before I could even put the uh, acrylic on, girl. This is crazy. But I have all 75 pages of the Diddy thing, y'all. I do. Uh, uh, to, um, I think that um, slip solution. Okay, well, I hope this works. I don't know what this is. Um... I'm going to go through them all before I come back on here. They already turning on each other. What they saying? What happened? Well, you listen, I kept telling y'all a long time ago about Floyd. Remember everybody was running around here? Floyd got all this money. I said, there's no way that them people, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the people in charge. You, there's no way that them people is around there letting Floyd floss all that money. You know he had to do a little bending. Mm-hmm. I ain't, ain't going to hold y'all. I'm going to be honest, and it's probably bad, but I'm going to say it. I don't care. I think every man in the industry done been tonked, and you know what I mean. He defending Diddy. Girl. Oh, you talking about that interview when he said, um, I just don't want to convict a black man or something crazy like that? You talking about that? Of course, because he don't want his teeth to come out. I think all them men don't be, be punks. I ain't going to lie. Wolf and she's clothes, she clothing. I do. I think that. And maybe I'm wrong for thinking that, but something in the in the inside of me saying, no girl, think how you want to think. And I really think that, you know, they all punks. Right? Ain't this Stephanie? She say, sound like it the way this stuff coming out for real, for real. I think they all punks. I think in order to get where they have where they at and do what they're doing, they gotta, you know, do a little something. A little something, something. How Maxwell said, we can do a little something, do a little something, something, yeah. I think when they be going up there, they have their own, to sign their deals, or they get their they deals, the people say, how bad you want it? And he said, they say, huh? And they say, how bad you want the deal? He said, I want it bad. You want to get your family out the hood? Yeah. I think they play that part on, on what's his name? We can do a little something, do a little something, something, yeah. Why is it only black entertainers? I think it's all entertainers. I mean, I don't think it's only black entertainers, but I'll tell you this. I think the only reason why the black ones are getting out of this, because like I said, we are trying to acquiesce into their bull. And when you try to acquiesce into bull that doesn't fit you, then they use that as a, something against you, right? They use that as something as to use against you. And how they use it against you, how they use it against you is exposure. Because see, in the clear community, they don't really be, they, I mean, okay, my husband used to sleep with men, but he's not gay anymore. You know, that's how the clear people be, you know? But in our community, it's like a deal breaker. And they know that. And they use that against us. That's why. Yeah, it is entertainment. B-Billy, it ain't just, it, I swear to God, I promise y'all. 
I don't think by no means stretch of the means it's just black people in the industry. Look at Britney Spears. Look at Justin Bieber. Look at Miley Cyrus. You know what I'm saying? For real. Think about it. Look at all of look at all of them these these Disney kids. Lindsay Lohan. All of them, hello, all of them grow up fucked up. That simply means that they all got to do something. You see what I'm saying? How does that say? Well, I'm leaving here with something. See, they are much more forgiving for being a little fruity. You know, they don't mind a little fruit cup. They don't mind it. We, we, we the ones that tell our people now when we find out that they, you know, little fruit cup. It's just, but it's only because that's not a part of our culture. I don't believe that that's, you know, maybe a part of our uh, accepted culture, maybe. I don't know, but I personally don't care. But I just like to be like I was right because I was right. When it comes to meat meals, when it comes to meat meals and all of them, I called it seven months ago. I did the video. I showed y'all yesterday. I said, them niggas is fruity. I did a whole video. I showed y'all yesterday. Mm hmm. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I think black people, people of all colors, races, I think all people have been gay since the beginning of the time. I don't believe that it's something like black people never was gay. because that's, that's, that's that's asinine. But I believe the acceptance piece of it is something that was never um, accepted amongst our people. So that's why they use it against us. Damn, I heard late last year, 2024 is going to be the year of exposure. Oh, yay. Truth and reveal in the year of Karna. And expose. Now I see it. Yep. Use your third eye, people. I need everybody on here to keep their third eye open. Because the two that, that, that God gave you on the front, them, them are really jaded. I need everybody to keep their third eye open. That is very important. Okay. He exposed both raises alone. I don't know who that is, but we got to go find him. Yeah. Listen, everybody going to get, listen, girl. I'm telling you, it ain't just a thing for um black people. It's just that we don't want, we are the culture, so ours are magnified. All them Hollywood people come out fucked up like that, girl. Ain't, I ain't lying. I ain't bullshitting. All them Hollywood people come out, come out fucked up like that. Hell, look at Matthew Perry. He just uh passed. And he was sending coded messages and all of that. Girl, them people, that's not a good place to be. That industry? Girl, that industry ain't shit. That's why I don't want no parts. None. I have no desires to go fucking with them people in that industry. Salone Bell? Yeah, she do. She do, that clear woman. She do, yes, she do. Yes, she do. Y'all, I'm so proud. I, who, who channel was I watching? Let me show you. Let me tell y'all something. I love y'all. I love y'all. I can't remember who channel that was I was watching. It was somebody, a big channel. Was it Lovely T? I don't know who channel I was watching, y'all. But let me show you how proud of y'all I am. Somebody sent the super chat. And when they described a white person, they said clear. And I said, oh. Go ahead on, photo. I am. I love y'all, man. Yes, that's the new term. We gonna call since they calling us black. Let's call them clear. How about that? I think we should do it. Since they call us black, we need to call them clear, because they are clear. Because we didn't give ourselves the name black. They did. Let's call us. Let's call them clear. Mm hmm. I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all be fuck. Y'all fuck with the dog, man. Y'all really do fuck with the dog. I fuck with y'all behind that. Real spit, real spit. Okay. Well, yeah, I think we should. I think we should call them clear. I think that should be the new term. You know, our ancestors didn't want to be called black when he came up with that shit. So let's give them a name they may not understand. Let's call them clear. Since black is so called the absence of color or, or, or absence, or, you know, let's call them clear. See how they like that. Girl, a miss. 
But y'all, Diddy is literally, I, listen, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all believe the lawsuit? I think it's too detailed to not be true, to be completely honest. I don't see how it can't be true because it's too detail oriented and that boy got receipts. That boy got receipts. The crayons, Indian red. No, I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Corey. I sure did forget about Corey Felder. And he got up there, unalived him so quick. Didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they get Corey Feldman up out of here fast? As soon as he started exposing, got him up out of here. That industry is wicked for anybody. I don't care who, I don't care who, what color you is, it's wicked. But they glamorize it to make people attracted to it. And I noticed this too, y'all. I noticed this too. They always get people who have past traumas, like they 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 they've suffered through some things. You know, like every single person you talk to or you hear about in the industry have a, a sad story, like they 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 were abused or like I was watching the Terry Crews thing over there with uh Shannon Sharp. He was talking about how he watched his father abuse his mother. It, I just find it to be a coincidence that all of them people in that industry be having issues like that or some sort of issue. And I think that's the way they used to that they used that to control them because people who suffer from traumatic instances sometimes not all, but sometimes they um sometimes they they still go through that and going through that it you know sometimes um it acts as not a crutch but it acts as um like people can penetrate that look at Monique's husband. All that trauma Monique went through, and what did Monique's husband do? Use that against her. And she don't even know it. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'm talking it. I'm saying it wrong. But it's the same thing with Monique's husband. He saw her trauma and capitalized, not capitalized, well, yeah, capitalized, but he saw her trauma and basically said, okay, I'm going to use that as a tool to control. And that's what he's doing. Yes, there you go, Nita Meyer. See, y'all can say it better than me. Y'all can say it better than me. Nita Meyer said, when, when trauma is involved, it's easier to, uh, for a person to submit. Oh, yes. And, we, and don't get me wrong. We've all gone through some level of trauma at some point in our lives as far as, you know, Black people or whatever. But it's, it's levels to everything. And certain levels might materialize in people differently does that make sense yeah did it did it she showed it oh yes judy garland not only her um marilyn monroe she had all her shit written in the diary that so-called came up missing after she was allegedly overdosed everybody i'm so tired of celebrities overdosing don't none of them jump off a bridge they all just overdose come on now Think about that. All the celebrities that's, that that want to unalive themselves don't none of them jump off the bridge. I guess that's a, a thing of the past. We just gonna go ahead and take these pills, girl. By girl, by I think that that is a cover up that they use for when they get rid of them people. Shirley Temple, yes. Oh, they, I heard they did that girl. That little girl so bad. Oh my god. I heard Shirley Temple. Oh my god. I heard the things they did to that girl was ridiculously sad. Y'all got to understand that industry is ran by demons. That industry is ran by demons. And black people with this stupid ass integration shit, we should have let them have their bullshit and left it alone. But nope, we just want to be a part of what they got going on. Now look at us. Now look at us. Now we got Meek Mills being exposed, you know, for doing shit that he probably wouldn't have done had he not been trying to get into that industry. Leave them people alone with their shit, you know? Leave them fucking people alone with their shit. What happened to Shirley Temple? Oh my God, girl, where do we start? I'll say this, and this is just paraphrasing, it's just trying to give you an idea of what they were doing to the little girl. They were using her, they were using Shirley Temple as literally a, a S slave to all the old people in, in the industry. Like she was the go-to, you know, like whatever it is they wanted, 
they will make that little girl go do it. They will make that little girl go do it. For lack of better terms, you would have to look it up. Like that little girl, Shirley Temple, even though she on TV smiling and having a good time, they were behind the scenes abusing that girl to levels you would never believe. To levels you would never believe. And this is a clear little girl. Yep. Yep. No cap. Yep, there you go. Jennifer told you, passed around doll. Yep. They literally play, they literally use her as like a, a rag doll. But whatever, it, it don't matter. And remember, mind you, these are devilish people. These are devilish people. Sometimes it don't have to necessarily include them physically interacting with her. Sometimes it could possibly be animals. You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen. The truth sometimes is better left not said because everybody can't handle it. Everybody can't handle it. Because you got to understand, when it comes to that nasty ass shit, you don't have to necessarily be them taking part. Some of them like to just see some nasty, fucked up shit. They some weird ass motherfuckers. Some of them just like to see some nasty, fucked up shit. So they'll get a horse. You know what I'm saying? Oh, good luck for your interview, Lily. You got it, girl. You don't need no luck. You got it. You got it. Good luck. Knock it out the park, eh? Yeah, y'all gotta be careful with that industry shit, man. That shit crazy. Oh, no parts of that ugly ass shit. Did they go to jail? No, they are the powers that be. See, this is what y'all gotta understand how this go. This how this go. This how this go. Once, once you get into that industry or let's say you you part of hollywood you part of the, the powers that be in hollywood you get in bed with everybody well some i ain't gonna say literally but you know maybe sometimes literally you get in bed with everybody you need to be in bed with in order to secure you right so for instance y'all remember when um i don't know if y'all watched uh hugh hefner's story have y'all seen hugh hefner's story in hugh hefner's story they talked about how he would invite all these celebrities to his Playboy Mansion, and he would give provide them with whatever they wanted, whatever drugs, alcohol, whatever you want, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Like there was no limit to the things that you can have down at his mansion. And he would have prominent people over there, mayors, you know, presidents, all of that. And what he would do is he would videotape every single like the whole house was filled with videotape so you don't even know you get videotape and then when he needs something number one they're gonna already do him a favor because they like coming down to the playboy match but whenever he needs something and it's unattainable he pulled the tape and say hey you sure you're not gonna help me out are we tracking so it's a two-fold thing you get in bed with the people because of popularity why you think Jeffrey Epstein had Clinton and all them people on, on his doggone flight, flight logs? What in the hell would Jeffrey Epstein have to do with a damn president? That, you see what I'm saying? Because there's a people all over, people period, has a natural desire to fit in and to feel like they're elevated amongst, you know, amongst a crowd of people. That's a natural thing for people. It's a natural thing to feel like you're elevated amongst you know, a, a majority and hanging out with a, a a Jeffrey Epstein who owns his own island, even though you're the president, that's still big, you know, and all the celebrities be over there, even though you're the president, you still want to go. You see what I'm saying? See what's going on. It's, it's just that's how I go. And the, the, how the industry works is they know that we are unaware of that and they use that to their advantage. Well, doing Diddy was uh, always videotaping people at his party. Yes. Didn't I tell y'all these Negroes go over there and try to copy and paste what them clear people do and use it against their own people? Didn't I tell y'all that? Diddy ain't make that shit up. Diddy got that from them clear people. That probably happened to Diddy when he was coming in. So he just turned around and said, I'm going to do that to y'all. You know? 
And I don't care what nobody say. I don't believe Mace is innocent. I don't believe that. Mace trying to act like he ain't never was on no shit. I don't know, bro. He might not have been, but something in my mind tell me that nigga was on some shit too. Because you was too close to this nigga. Mm-hmm. I, y'all just got y'all got listen. It looks more glamorous than it really is. Look at the writer strike. It took for the writer strike to happen for us to realize all our faves is really broke. The only ones who still not broke is the ones who are at the top of the top. Will Smith, Angela Bassett. You know what I'm saying? Like top, top, top actors. All the rest of them people, Taraji P, broke. It looks more glamorous than it is. What's that gay guy from Pose who came on there talking about how he, he got to sell his house because he can't afford his mortgage? But then you sitting up there saying, but I seen you on the red carpet with a $50,000 outfit. And he'll have to tell you that was borrowed in order for me to sell their product. Yes, I walked the red carpet. I didn't take that home with me. I didn't buy that. It's a look. It's an image. That's one of the things Wendy Williams was uh, infatuated with. The look. Even in her dementia, all she want to do is be noticed by people. Remember she was at the restaurant? You know who I am? It's the image. It's the look. It's the look. It's all a dream. There it goes, Sophia. Sophie, it's all a dream. That shit ain't real. But they make it look real because they put it in your face and they glamorize it. And when they glamorize it, people will typically go, oh, I want that. Because, no, I mean, think about it. All of us, not all of us, most of us are living even right above or at a poverty poverty level, I'm sorry. So if you're on TV and you see seeing motherfuckers like rappers and all that shit in fire-ass cars and they taking trips, young Miami getting flued out, you know, think about it. If you sitting around looking at your surroundings and you say, well, shit, I want that too. You gonna probably go chase that as well because it looks to be the thing. But what they don't tell you is that is advertising. That is advertisement, I'm sorry. That shit ain't real. They're gonna get you in there. You're gonna get to do the same thing. But then when you go home, you're gonna, you're gonna have to sit in the truth that you don't have none of that shit. Flexing for the gram so that you can make people believe that this is the life so they'll wanna come. They're all advertisers. That's why I call them puppets. That's why I call them puppets. That is literally why I call them puppets. Mm-hmm. It's some real foul, foul shit coming out of uh, Holly Weird. That's why I don't trust no celebrity. None of them. Because I know what they got to do. I've seen it. They've all, It's already been told. People been up spilling this tea for years. This ain't new. I'd be confused as to why people be acting shocked. People be, you know what? I know what it is. I, it just dawned on me. I know why people be shocked. Because back before it was popular to spill this type of tea, people automatically, uh, um, they would, they would discount the person that's spilling the tea as uh, crazy. Or he a hater. Y'all remember that? Somebody come out on one of y'all faves? Oh, this what happened? This what they did? Like, for instance, look at that lady. Remember that lady? Y'all remember that lady who came out and said Beyonce was a witch? Her drummer. She said Beyonce was a witch. And she said Beyonce, um, she said Beyonce um did something to her cat and put a spell on her. What did the beehive see? Oh, she crazy. Now, if it comes out in the next year or so that Beyonce really is a witch. And she really didn't put spells on people. Everybody gonna be like, for real? But the lady already told y'all. The lady already told y'all what the fuck was going on. Y'all didn't want to hear it. Because at the time, you're infatuated with the, the character. Because Beyonce is a character. Hold on, y'all. Beyonce is a character right now. She's a character to the people. She's not a real person. But if it comes out that Beyonce really is a witch and really put spells on people, everybody's going to be shocked. But that's because we already discounted a person and said they were crazy. Calling a person crazy, in Dave Chappelle's words, is the most dismissive thing you can ever do to a person. That shows your ignorance, not theirs. Oh, she crazy. Okay. That's just because you want to live in the land of bliss, of bullshit. That's what that's about. But they've been coming out on Diddy. They've been coming out on all these people. This ain't nothing new. It's just that now people are waking up to see these. Everybody ain't lying on these people. 
Yeah, Eric. Listen, I believe Erica Badu was a witch, Stephanie. Let me tell you something. I believe Erica Badu was a witch when this dude on I, I don't know where I saw this uh interview at, but this dude said he was with Birdman and he saw Erica Badu. He was like, she got a fat ass, she fine like a motherfucker. Da, 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 da. He said and he went to go try to get Erica Badu's number and Birdman was like, uh, uh-uh, I don't fuck with that. And he was like, What you mean? She got a fat ass. Da, da, da. He was like, Don't fuck with that. He she with that witchcraft shit. She a witch. And he was just like, nah, you bullshit. And he went to go try to fuck with it. And he said Birdman grabbed him and was like, I'm telling you, nigga, don't fuck with that. She a witch. He believed it at that story. Now she done came on a, a, a Twitter spaces and, and admitted it. And now it's, everybody's like, oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? I don't discount people's story when they say, because I've come to realize the shit that we deem to be outlandish and crazy really be the truth. That's that. That's part of that manipulation that they use, you know, to keep people, you know, slow and stupid. Because the shit that we look at and say is crazy or da, 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 that be the truth. That be the truth. But they got us mentally trained to just automatically dismiss it. But that be the truth. So when that drama came out and said Beyonce put a, a spell on her and all of this that and the third, I believe it. I believe every word of it. I believed it then and I believe it now because I don't have no emotional ties to no goddamn Beyonce. So, you know, I could see it. When that whole got up that time, she's shaping to, she, she shift shapes into, shape shifts into Sasha Fears. That what she said she do? And she's not herself on stage. I say, oh, yeah. Y'all know I'm from New Orleans. I know that type of shit really real, you know? I say, oh, yeah. She on, yeah, for sure. Uh huh. Yep. But you know, the, the beehive said that the lady was crazy and just discounted the lady. But it'll come out. We are in the age of Aquarian. Aquarius, I'm sorry. It'll come out. And when it do, guess what people gonna do? Go pull that old video of that lady saying that shit. Y'all, girl, people is crazy. You're gonna go put that old video of that lady saying that shit, and then everybody gonna be like, she wasn't lying. Well, you don't think. You don't say she wasn't lying some people be listen these celebrities put these people under spells y'all know that they really be having people under spells they don't even realize they be under them spells the people they don't realize they be under the uh the spells allegedly lady libra lady libra allegedly i thought she was just a creole from texas but who knows but Beyonce put it in a song, so we just going to go with it. My daddy, Alabama. Mama, Louisiana. I don't know what part, though. I couldn't tell you what part. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody say something. I missed that comment. Somebody say something about putting the whole city on mute. People think that's just cute. People think that's really just cute. It's cute. All right. Yeah, it's cute. Mm-hmm. If she can control people, to, a whole mass of people like that to put them on mute and people think it's just trendy and it's just cute, imagine what else she could do, make y'all do. Imagine what else she could make y'all do. I seen that mute shit on Twitter. I say, oh, hell no. That was my very first response. Like, these people really is, like, one person? One person? Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm. And people was really like getting mad when other people didn't go on mute. That's crazy. But you know, that's people. People is, you know. And let me tell y'all something too, unpopular opinion. A lot of people ain't gonna want to hear this, but I'm telling you now. Beyonce don't give a good goddamn about the LGBTQIA plus community. She used them for her advantage. Uh-huh, I said it. Yep, said it, did say that. Beyonce don't give a good goddamn about the LGBTQIA plus community. She's using them. She's using them. She's using them. She's using them. And I think it's fucked up and it's wrong. Because most of a lot of her fan base, Nikki too, a lot of her fan base is the, is the community. But they use them because they know that they are like the, let me tell you something. And this is no shade. Remember I told y'all how Monique husband see her weakness and use it against her? That's the same thing these celebrities do. They latch on the communities who feel like they aren't recognized, like Blacks, LGBTQ. 
They latch on to communities who already feel deprived and unrecognized, boost them up, give them this false sense of confidence and false sense of love because they don't really care. It's they using. And then after they do that, boost you up and woo the woo the woo. They have you under their spell because you're already a broken community. The black community the same way. The black community the same way. All of them. It ain't just Meg. It ain't just Nikki. All of them. Mel Mel um, from Love and Marriage Huntsville, same thing. What, what community does Mel have? Black women, single mothers, divorcees. You already traumatized behind some shit a nigga done did. She does that. Mel, I, I, I peep Mel game from the very beginning. Mel from Love and Marriage Huntsville, you may not know if you know her. She got a group of com a community of women who have been traumatized, and she uses that trauma to her advantage. You see what I'm saying? They do it all the time. They do it all the time. Because that community of people is not going to even realize they're getting played like Monique. They're not going to realize they're getting played because they're just so happy to finally have a something or somebody that can actually say, I see you. You see what I'm saying? Y'all you know, got to be strong out here in these streets. That's why I'm not a fan of no celebrity. I keep telling y'all that. I, am, I don't like no celebrities. I like the art. Whatever they might do, but I don't like them as a person. No, I don't like that. There's not a celebrity that I personally like because I know I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing and I know what they've done. I just see them differently. What happened to Orlando Brown? Nothing. Huh? What happened to Orlando? Girl, staying culture. Somebody say staying culture. It's, it's idol worshiping. It's idolatry. It's what it is. See, when we grew up in the Bible and all that stuff, we were taught idolatry you had to, is when you worship a thing like Buddha. Like, that's how we were taught at least. Idolatry is when you worship a thing like a Buddha. No, 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 no. See, idolatry works with people, things, anything. Anything that you put your everything and your all into, that is an idol. That's an idolatry. That's the, pa the practice of idolatry when you put everything all into something or someone. And what they're doing with these stand cultures, they are idol worshiping these people. Spending their last to go to the concerts. Buying the album, even though they don't have, you know what I mean? Prioritizing this celebrity who don't even know they exist. Say something about this celebrity, they will, they will harm you. Y'all seen that movie on Prime, um, Sting, about that girl who ended up unaliving all them people behind uh, the fake Beyonce, whatever thing? That was, that's real. That's what happens when you do idol worshiping. That's what's happening. Idolatry is happening, and they don't even realize it. And a lot of these people will still sit, sit there and tell me or you that they still love God. You can't. Because God said, don't put nothing or no man before me. So how? How, Sway? How? Swarm, is that the name of it? How, Sway? The most high gave you the commandments. You don't put nothing before me. You don't do that. It's me and only me. I'm a jealous God. Ain't that what they say the Bible say? And these motherfuckers will sit up there and I no bullshit. It's so scary to me. I believe if some of these stands have to choose between God and their idol, their idolatry or their idol, I believe that they'll choose their idol. I do. Oh, girl, don't get me started on the pastors and priests. That's why we got Operation TD going right now. That's why we got Operation TD going right now. That is the sole reason why Operation TD is underway as we speak. Do you see what I'm saying? Because pastors, I'm telling y'all, I keep telling y'all, pastors and priests are the worst of them all. They are the worst people you can ever run across. I know they look like they nice and people say they're the man of the cloth. But look, listen, look at how women how women will literally risk life in them for this man, so-called man of God. Whole time he a fucking freak behind the doors. Yeah, that's why we got Operation TD, girl. What you mean? What is y'all saying? Why y'all think, listen, Operation TD comes from my disdain for what I see him doing to my people. That's where that come from. So I got to get him up. I got to get him up out of here. We going we gonna, to um, infiltrate. We're going to integrate and infiltrate. As soon as they call me back by my application, we're going to be in that bitch. Got to get them up out of here, for sure. Got to get them up out of here. I ain't bullshitting. 
Mm-hmm. He wound up doing deals with Wells Fargo and shit. Y'all just seen what Wells Fargo did to to uh to Wendy Williams. Now what that tell you? Now what that tell you? What that tell you? He around here doing deals with the Wells Fargo. Y'all just seen what Wells Fargo did to Wendy. How that go? How that go? How they go, y'all? Somebody help me out. And tell me how they go. Let me leave it back right here. Girl, I heard about the Beyonce church. I kind of played a little bit of it on my live one time, and they uh, partially muted my live. You know, they don't play about Beyonce content, so I couldn't even leave it up there. Yeah, they, they muted my live, meaning they took that part off while I was talking about the concert. Because they didn't want none, like literally, they don't want none of their footage shown. You can't even do commentary on this shit. They ain't strike me though. And yep. Yeah, I saw that church. And guess who's leading it? A clear man and black women. Girl, that's crazy. That's crazy. Mm hmm. This shit crazy around here. What? What you talking about? Abundance. What you talking about? What? What did Wells Fargo do to Wendy? They took her money. You seen the documentary? Why is there so many versions of the Bible? Ask yourself. Oh, I know why. I know why. But I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Bad enough, you can't talk about certain things with Negroes. So I'm gonna let that ride. But I know why. One day I'm gonna not give a fuck and get on here and say it, but not today. I ain't got any minute today. I don't wanna have to get emails and phone calls after this live too, child. I don't have it in me today. I got shit to do. Not today, Satan. But I'll tell you why I know why. And they keep creating new versions of it too today. Me and my mom was talking about the Jehovah Witness. They used to have the Bible called the New World Translation of Jehovah Witness. My mom said, nah, they don't even use the Bible. They don't even read the Bible no more. They upgraded it a couple of more times and then they took it away completely. Ask yourself, why? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the part right there. Yep, that's the part. That is the part. But you know, it bees like that sometimes. Hey, Lord, I hope this don't get my lives timed out. They playing music. Girl, yeah. But I probably should get off anyway. Because I'm over here fixing my nails. And after I fix my nails, and hopefully my car be done. And then um, I could go home and get ready to go live for y'all. You know, I got to cook something. Though. I might not cook. I might go pick something up. They took Holy off the front, Jen? What? I'm telling y'all. I'll just say this. Let me say this because I don't want to say too much. Let me say this because I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get nobody upset. Listen to me, y'all. The colored people, the copper colored people who was here on this land that they call the Americas right now, before them colonizers came, we were a spiritual people and we, we did our own type of worships and all of that stuff. But it was not in which the way that we do now. I've always even wondered that, even if you think we was from Africa, what were we doing before they came and gave us their Bible and their they ways of worship? What, did we, what were we doing? But Because it wasn't this. Now, it could be a variation of this, but it wasn't this in totality. What, what, what were we doing? And if we, can't, if, we, if we can find what we were doing, what would be the problem with going back to what we were doing? You know, because what happens is they give you like they gave us everything, you know, the clear man gave us everything, but they give you your identity. They give you your religion. They give you everything. And you're just not supposed to question it. And if you question it to even other Negroes, they will battle you. But you should question it because this is not what we were doing. That book is not what we were reading. The book ain't but 2000 something years old. The book ain't but two. Listen. The book ain't but two, oh, a little over 2,000 years old. What the fuck were we doing before that? Think about it. What were we doing before that? What, what, what was the catalyst 
for the what, how did we worship before they put that book in our hands? Because they put it in our hands. But see, if you ask that type of question, people gonna say you sacrilegious or you a heathen or like my mama tell me I'm going to hell, you know, that type of thing, you know. Girl. Mm-hmm. Girl, y'all got to be strong, girl. And don't feel, listen, I had to learn this too. I'm no motherfucker not about to make me feel guilty for asking questions about shit I want to know answers to, girl. You kiss the blackest part of my ass. Motherfucker is not about to make me feel guilty about asking questions that I want to know the answers to. I'm I'm a curious ass bitch. Call me Curious George. Do you hear me? Curious Georgina. I want to fucking know. What the fuck going on? The fuck? No, hell no. Hell no. You ain't about to have me sheep like sitting up there not saying nothing just because. It's not, you don't supposed to, girl, fuck off, girl, bitch, I'm, what's up, what's going on? I'm the person, I'm the person opening the room door to see what y'all are doing. What's going on behind this door? What's going on? You know, fuck all that, girl, people are trying to browbeat you. Oh, you not supposed to, ask. I rem you remember back in the day when we grew up as Christians, they tell you, don't, whenever you ask certain things, they say, don't question God. You never question God. Like if somebody was to say, like for instance, if you lose a person close to you, and you say, God, why, why my child or why my mama or why this, why that? And then what's the next thing a person say? You don't post a question, God. It's in God's favor. It's in God's plan. Why? Why? Why is it wrong for me to ask God why? Why? How, make that make sense. How is that a bad thing for me to ask God why? But they'll tell you quick and fast and in a heartbeat. Uh-uh, you don't question the Lord. That's what God said. That's what he did. God called you. My grandma like that. My grandma like that. If it's in God's plan, God's timing, I don't question it. You know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's like going to school not being able to ask the teacher a question. Absolutely. That's exactly what it's like. Because <laughs> school is another variation of church. Y'all know that, right? The same way they train you in school is the same way they train you at the church. Don't they have vacation Bibles? Not vacation, but uh, Sunday school for the kids. It's it's fashioned the same way. It's literally fashioned the exact same way. It's a way of conditioning. That's all it is. Girl, that shit crazy. Yup, so we don't have control of our own destiny. There you go. Because if you question and then you do and act according to the answers you receive, then you control your destiny. But they don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want a bunch of independent thinking ass motherfuckers. People who got a, who don't need me. They don't need the powers that be. They don't need the money. They don't need the resources. They don't want that because then they have no power. You, then you strip them of their power when you, when you create your own destiny. And if 30% of, if of Americans, I don't care what color they are, if 30% of Americans decided to, to create their own destinies and not abide by the things and the way in which we were uh, raised to do, girl, America will crumble. Do you hear me? Lifting me higher, so good. Loving somebody when somebody loves you back. Go ahead on, Teddy. Hey, it's so good. Let me stop before they take this live down. But yeah, girl. Y'all, you know the morning Josephs be the the morning Josephs really be on some real shit. That's why I like the morning Josephs. I need to start making this a podcast too. I need to start creating connecting this to my podcast. Yep. 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 Exactly. That part right there. The part y'all see right there on the screen. Yep. Y'all ever wonder why the Pope is always intertwined with what the fuck going on with the presidents and all of that in politics? Girl, please. It's all a farce. These people playing in y'all face. But, you know, most people would like to stay asleep because it's comfortable in the bed, ain't it? Ain't it comfortable? Like this morning, I ain't want to get up. I ain't going to lie. I could have got up earlier than I got up, but I said, no, I'm going to snooze my alarm. That's, that's, that's life. That's how people do. They snooze the alarm because it's comfortable there. You know, I get it. I totally get it. I promise you I get it. I got your fat. Mm-hmm. Hey, Brandy. 
Hey y'all, what's going on? Love in return. That's the only thing that my heart desires. Just appreciate the little things I do. Let me stop, girl. Yeah, girl. Keep on lifting, lifting me higher. So good. Loving somebody. When some girl, Teddy didn't play. Do you hear me? And he was a fruit cup too. Shout out to Teddy though. Y'all know Teddy was a fruit cup, huh? Y'all know Teddy was a fruit cup. Sure was. He was a big old fruit cup. Mm hmm. Eddie Murphy, fruit cup. Usher, fruit cup. I believe Kiki Mama. When Kiki Mama said, Usher is gay. I believe every, yes, ma'am. I believe, I believe everything she said. You over here worried about Usher. Usher is gay. Fruit cup. That's what we call him. Was Luther? I don't know. Have you seen him with a woman? Love is music, though. Love is music. Love is music. Have you seen Luther with a woman? I haven't. Amazing artist, but I just ain't never seen him with a woman, you know? Hmm. They ain't ready for that conversation about the male singers back then, child. Because, see, the male singers back then, you know, especially in the 70s, girl, listen. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of think the 60s, 70s, 50s, 60s, 70s, I think that's when they started inputting all of that bullshit that they're doing today. Making black artists do certain things and all that, and celebrities and all that. I think that's when they started this shit. I don't know, I'm just saying, because it seemed like it shit just started shifting when they see that niggas in there, you know? Usher always with older women because Usher, in my opinion, this is my opinion, I don't know what to say. Usher's always with older women because Usher, is looking for his mother in his mate. Usher started singing and doing a whole bunch of stuff, being away from his mother at a very, very young age. Usher missed the essential things that a child needs when they grow up with a parent, with a mother. A parent, a child can survive, and it probably not not on his best without a father, but a mother is very essential. So when Usher went to go stay with Diddy, at what age it was? What age, what age he said? What age he said he went over there? About twelve. 12, he was over there? Oh, yeah. Usher looking for a new mama. That's why his women be old. He need a mama. Mm-hmm. 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 Usher need his mama. That's why he even got the... He, that's why he married that first lady. He want a mama. He's just trying to fill a void. Poor thing. He don't even realize it. He's just trying to fill a void. That's all. That's what I think. That's me psychoanalyzing. I don't know the man. I'm just saying that's what I think. Was he 13? Where was his mama? I don't know, but I know where he what where she wasn't at Diddy's party at Diddy House. When there was uh pillow fighting and fighting over cornflakes. Remember Diddy say that? Y'all remember that? Y'all I, I don't know where she was, but I know where she wasn't. Down at the Diddy House. I know where she wasn't. <laughs> you feel me? I don't know where she was, but I know where she wasn't. Bow Wow, too. I know where she wasn't, his mama. I don't know where she was, but I know where she wasn't, JD. Oh, yeah. I feel like JD did some fucked up shit, too. It just ain't came out yet. But see, his little uh, people is a little more loyal, you know. His people are a little more loyal, but it's going to take somebody. Well, where was Bow Wow, mama? I don't know, but I know where she wasn't. Down there at the, what's the name of uh, JD place? Uh, so So Death Factory. I know where she wasn't. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to understand, see, we think it's just Disney when them people give their turn to them industries and walk away. Girl, no. They do that in gymnastics. Remember the girls from gymnastics came out and said that um that doctor was touching on all of them and they had to go stay with stay at a camp for a whole summer at the time. And and if you came, especially like if you one of the black girls who are, are poor girls, that you go live with a whole nother family, them people literally give their children away. They don't look at it like that, but that's exactly what they do. They give their children away. Here, there you go, take it. Because the parents get paid handsomely while their child is away doing God knows what. Mm-hmm. Disney, sports, music. It ain't just Disney. Usher Mama dropped him off by Diddy. He is the pedo of all pedos. All right, send it to me, Brandy. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling y'all the truth now. Now, now a lot of people gonna tell y'all what what y'all want to hear. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. 
let, let me tell you something. All of that industry, sports, music, uh, film, I don't care what it is. It's same shit, different toilet. You see what I'm saying? Same shit, different toilet. Ain't nothing different about nothing. This is all the same shit. Same shit and I eat. Okay? You have to drop your child off. Uh, 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 Justin Bieber mama dropped him off down there by Diddy. Y'all seen the video when he was showing uh, D- uh, Justin Bieber the car, telling Justin Bieber he gonna let him drive the car? Mm-hmm. Girl, y'all got to be strong. So, God forbid, now I ain't gonna say God forbid, but if Usher, yeah, the God forbid, if, if Usher was, you know, abused down there at that house, I believe if he's, if uh, what, uh, what is being alleged, I'm sorry, if what is being alleged is true about Usher being gay, Usher is one of them people like Michael Jackson that we have to understand that they didn't get to choose this shit. They were placed into this shit at young ages. You see what I'm saying? So we got to be very careful about nailing them to the cross, even though they should if they abuse somebody. That's just what it is. But what I'm saying is we got to be careful about that because a lot of these people were placed into this as children. You know, so you got to be cognizant of that, too. Now, not not the ones who walk through the door as an adult trying to get on. I don't have nothing for you, faith. I don't have nothing for you. But them churn, that's different. You know, Usher didn't have a choice. It just was what it was. His mama dropped him off. Nick Cannon, another one. That's probably why he around here having all these churn. He probably taking more zick than anything. Do you hear me? You probably taking more zick than a prostitute, okay? Any man who's super promiscuous with women, I always be be side eyeing them. You know, like what's wrong with you? You been touched or something? The fuck? Yep, like Raz B. Yep, he messed up just like Raz B. Yep, yep. But Raz B, one of the only people that'll come out and be vocal about it, most especially black men. Most men they ain't gonna come out and say that. That's why I was such a big awe or aha, like oh my god, when Terry Crews came out and said that clear man touched his balls and grabbed him by the balls. Y'all remember that? Chris Brown, another one, he was dropped off. Y'all got to understand they paid them parents to drop their cheering off. Aaliyah dropped off. See, I'm gonna say what's uncomfortable about the Aaliyah shit. And I don't care what nobody say. Y'all gonna y'all gonna hate me. I know y'all gonna drag me. It is what it is. If anything was done to Aaliyah as a child, I blame Aaliyah's mother. Period. Point blank. I blame the abusers, but I also blame her mother. You drop, you let your child just go. You just let your child go. Like, fuck it. I blame her mama. And when somebody tried to come out and talk about that, I believe the Aaliyah clan came together. And was like, you don't do that. You don't say that about Aaliyah. Rest in peace to this beautiful angel. It ain't, it's not about Aaliyah. It's about her mama placing her into an environment that potentially or possibly or allegedly caused her to be abused the way we've been hearing. Her mama ain't shit. I don't care. Her mama ain't shit. She sold Aaliyah. Let, let, let me just say it how I want to say it. Her, Aaliyah mama sold her into that industry, period. And it ain't nothing far-fetched because people do it all the time. But Leah Mama sold her into that industry and walked away, period. I don't give a damn how close they was on the videos when Aaliyah got older. Aaliyah's mother is 100% responsible for placing her child into an environment that uh, unfortunately got her uh, abused, allegedly. And that's just what it is. We got to stop trying to coddle people because we like them. No, we don't even know Aaliyah Mama, so I don't understand that either. We don't even know that lady. The fuck? Yeah, bitch, it's your fault. It absolutely is. Because you should have been there with your child. The fuck? You gonna just drop off? Oh, yeah. It's your fault. It is definitely your fault. I tell you what. You know who mama was hands-on with their churn? Do y'all want to know who mama always been hands-on with their churn? Ain't left their churn side? Let me see if y'all know. Put it in the chat. Who mama put them? They churn was in the industry? Or at least one of them for sure. Was in the industry? And that lady was with them cheering every step. There you go, there you go, me, he, me, he know. Bitch, Brandy Mama did not play. Do you hear me? Brandy Mama did not play. I can't speak on Kiki Mama. But Brandy Mama? Oh, girl, bitch, please. You gonna do what with my churn? Oh, I'm coming. Oh, it's just, no, 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 no. 
it's me, my husband, and, and my other child, and we all coming. We all coming. We, yes, baby. Bread, Miss Sonya Noble didn't play with them people, girl. Remember they were trying to say she was difficult, and remember they were trying to, because that lady wouldn't let y'all play with her children. Y'all not about to just go off of my turn. No, bitch. No, I'm coming. What's up? They they even tried to defame defame the lady name, tell her she was in she was uh she was an angry black woman and this that and the third because she did not let y'all do what y'all want with her children. Period. 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 And that's what a mother should do. And guess what? Brandy still became successful. See that? So I don't I don't give Aaliyah Mama no pass. Sorry, I don't. Cause that lady didn't Sonya Norwood, bitch. Sonya said, bitch, call me what you want, trick. I don't give a good goddamn. Y'all not about to play with my children. I'm going to be wherever my children at. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. That's a mother. That's a mother. Now, I know um, Jason Weaver mama negotiated the Lion King deal. That was dope. I don't know if she was physically there with him all the time, but I know she made sure he was straight forever. That's a mother. That's a mother who see past the fame. That's a mother who see future, who think about longevity. I want my, my son's kids. I want his grandkids. I want his great, great grandkids to eat if he can't. You know what I'm saying? If he, even when he's not here. I want my lineage to survive. So shout out to uh, Jason Weaver, mama. But um, it's a lot of them people drop their turn off. And that's why, unfortunately, that's why they have to go through what they go through. Because there's nobody around to say, no, this ain't happening. Do you think R. Kelly's, do you think Kelly's R's boys is Jay-Z? I don't understand the question. Girl, I don't know what's going on with Monica. Somebody else had posted somebody who came up um in the industry. I don't know if Kiki, let me tell you why I question Kiki Mama and her being there. Because remember when her, Kiki Mama and Darius was getting into it? And Darius said, you sold your daughter to the Illuminati? And she had paused. This wasn't funny, but it was funny. And she said, well, I, shit, I guess I did. At least we made money or something like that. Pretty crazy. Remember he told you you sold, you sold your child to the industry? It made me wonder what pillow talking was him and Kiki doing one night for him to say some shit like that, you know? What pillow talking was happening um, for, for this boy to say some shit like that to that girl mama? What was being said when everything was cool? What did Kiki tell him about to make him feel like, you know, yes, he did, 440. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I don't know if he said the industry or the Illuminati. Either way, he sold, he said, you sold your daughter. I think he said Hollywood. He said, you sold your daughter in the Hollywood. That's what he said. And she said, well, I guess I did, but at least I got her a career. What are you? You, your, you and your whole family ain't shit. That's what she said. Yes, ma'am. Girl, y'all got to be strong out here. Can you hear it? Yeah, no, I don't hear nothing. It sound, is it good? Hello? Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, my call finished. I'm going to have to call y'all later at 5 o'clock. We're going to talk later at 5 o'clock because we're going to go over some more Diddy shit and Meek Mill shit, y'all. So I'm going to joke y'all up out of here because my call ready. I thank y'all for being here. Like the video if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all. Yeah, I'll see y'all for 5 o'clock, y'all. Peace. I'm going to joke y'all up out of here. Bye. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. Now, it's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 wow,
your B O Y. Drop it for your guy, for your B O Y. Do it for your guy, for your B O Y. Come on, baby, we love. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here. 